let's talk about basic product photography. So flat lay usually is called this because it's laid flat on the ground and photographed. Although the product doesn't actually need to be laying flat. It can be standing up, obviously. If it's clothing, sometimes people like it to be extremely flat, whereas other times it just needs to be gently laid on the ground. Sometimes people might prefer a bit more of a ruffled uh, look for something a bit more casual. If it's jewellery, sometimes you really need that detailed shot. If it's a lot of things, sometimes it's nice to have them all bunched together and have something in there for scale. If it's something that doesn't really denote what it is just by looking at it, a little bit of food with it can actually help um, or whatever goes in the product. Uh, you can have a collection shot as well, but it doesn't need to be shot either straight on or flat. It can be, but you can also do it on an angle. You can have a little bit of a, more of a casual setup as well. And sometimes you really need to turn the product side on to be able to know how deep the product is. If it's food, having the ingredients can give the viewer a sense of taste. And sometimes you might want to have a mirrored effect to create shininess. Flat lay shots are great because you can include them in grouped images with lifestyle images and they look fantastic. Another similar look to flat lay is called ghosted mannequin shots. So in these shots you can see that the, product, the clothing has been shown on a mannequin and then that's been photoshopped out. You can also see the back of the garment here giving that illusion of having a ghost wearing the clothing. Thanks for watching. If you need some affordable product photography, head to www.nicoleherrick.com.au. Thanks.